if any gentleman soldiers or others have a mind to serve his majesty and pull down the French king, if any apprentices have severe masters, any children have undutiful parents, if any servants have too little wages or any husband too much wife, let them repair to the noble Sergeant Kite at the sign of the Raven in this good town of Shrewsbury and they shall receive present relief and entertainment. So begins the recruiting officer, Farquhar's satirical comedy on recruitment, on marriage, on money, on status, on wealth, first produced in 1706 and still as popular now. And I'm going to be directing that play. My name is Matt Beresford uh, and I've directed a few different things for TTC, especially uh, Wind in the Willows and uh, Jeeves and Worcester a couple of years ago. And Lottie approached me about directing a play in a week. So starting on Saturday morning and putting, putting it on the next Saturday evening. And that is what we're going to do. We're going to do this restoration comedy. And because, you know, I guess we are, we are restoring theatre uh, up and down the country over the next couple of months. And the recruiting officer is a lot of fun. Uh, it's got a very, very convoluted plot, which is much easier in the staging than it is in the telling. So I'm, I'm really not going to say too much about the plot here because uh, that would take probably about five minutes. But you can go and read it. There's plenty of kind of spark notes, e-notes online if you want to go and find out a bit more about the plot. Suffice it to say, uh, it involves a recruiting officer, Captain Plume, uh, his sergeant, that text, I, that um, piece I just read, who works for him, finding novel ways to recruit people into the Grenadiers. But also Plume's love interest, and particularly... Um, the character of Sylvia, who is the daughter of uh, a local justice and is very clear headed on what she wants from her life. And she leaves town, comes, comes back dressed as, dressed as a man and uh, yeah, hilarity ensues. There's loads of great characters in it, um, kind of 10 um, really sizable parts. They're all kind of stock characters, as is fairly typical of the period. Um, with names like Plume and Brazen and uh, Balance and Bullock. So you get a real sense of the characters from their names. Um, I'm going to be putting together these character descriptions today or tomorrow so that we can get those out to everyone together with the audition pieces. And the auditions are going to be held on the 28th and 29th of July. So whilst there are 10 major characters, there are many, many smaller, smaller parts. And depending on how many people we have in the cast, we'll do some doubling or we'll give everyone a, a small part. I'm not sure. Um, I think there are about 25 parts uh, in total. And plenty of opportunity for chorus. Um, yeah, for a kind of, kind of choral involvement uh, as, uh, as well. What else can I say? Um, I've made a few cuts to the text. That's uh, that's pretty much completed as well. Um, it's quite a long play, so I've tried to tighten that up a bit. I've taken out a bit of language which is not really appropriate for now. And yeah, the, the acts four and five can be a little saggy in this play, so I've tried to tighten that all up and keep the focus on Plume and Sylvia Worthy and Melinda's uh, relationships primarily. Um, in terms of how it's going to work, we are going to start rehearsals, as I said, on the morning of Saturday, the 18th of September at 10 o'clock in the morning. We're going to rehearse all day Saturday, all day Sunday, every evening the following week, and then all day the following Saturday with a dress rehearsal, and then put the show on in the evening of the 25th of September. And the plan is also to do a show on Sunday afternoon. So... I don't think I'll need everyone all the time, but really, if you'd like to be involved, you definitely need to be available for the Saturday and the Sunday, the 18th and 19th. Um, and I will absolutely try and give people you know, a bit of time back. I uh, appreciate people have got uh, families and work commitments and, um, and that can be a challenge. But I'm hoping, given it's a very intense period, that lots of people will be up for coming out to play. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of energy, 
bit of stress, I imagine, um, but the play is very funny. And I think the energy of putting something on in a week, the intensity of that will be absolutely terrific. Um, what else is there to say? Um, yeah, I'm going to have Laurie working alongside me, fabulous uh, Laurie Coombs, and um, I'm looking, hoping to have an assistant as well. More news on that next week. Uh, and so as well as you know, staging the play on the Saturday and Sunday, we'll then be working it um, rather than me doing everything. You know, I'll be doing some work, Laurie will be doing some work, and assistant will be doing some work somewhere else. So we're going to try and turn 30 hours of rehearsals into, you know, 70 or 80. Uh, lines need to be learnt for the first rehearsal uh, on that 18th, um, which should give two months to learn learn lines, which is you know, bags of time, and I'm really happy to give people thoughts on, you know, good ways to go about that. Although I imagine anyone who's coming, uh, coming out to play, you know, has has good experience of learning lines. Um, what else? The acting style is very kind of open and out front and mannered, um, and very much with the audience. And whilst I haven't made any decisions firmly in terms of the set yet. Um, uh, and I'm going to be working with the brilliant Fiona Orti uh, again on that. Uh, I am minded to have the contract, if you like, between the audience and the actors um, to be one of real collaboration. Um, so quite a bit of interaction with the audience, a real celebration of theatre, of human beings in one space, uh, receiving and telling stories and and having a good time doing that. Um, which maybe is the essence of uh, of of theatre. Um, final thing I guess to say is that the auditions, um, I'll I'll hear people read. We'll work with um, we'll work with you as you as you read. We'll try things in a couple of different ways. Um, as I said, there may be a lot of doubling, so I might be asking people to read other characters. Um, and I'm very very up for cross casting a couple of these these roles. So any women who would like to uh, apply for Brazen, I think, particularly, maybe Balance, maybe Bullock, could be a lot of fun. And any gentleman who would fancy a go at Rose, the kind of country uh, wench, I guess, is probably the best way, simplest way to put it. Um, she's a lot of fun. I think it could be a lot of fun for a man to play. Um, but we'll see. Um, We'll see on that. So I think that's I think that's about all um, that I need to say for now. So keep an, a look out for the audition pieces. Look out for the character descriptions, and I really look forward to seeing lots of you around the 28th, 29th of July. And really looking forward to what I'm you know I'm sure is going to be just the whole week is going to be a celebration of creating theatre, and I'm really looking forward to it. So I hope lots of you come out to play. Oh, I mustn't forget to say that, yeah, from in terms of, you know, off stage, both creatively and technically, we obviously need tons of help. So if you've never done much with TTC before or on stage uh, at all before, um, and you'd love to kind of come along and play or, you know, get involved a bit in lighting or sound or whatever it might be, do, you know, do let us know. Um, and we, I'd love to try and involve as many people as we can. So... Thank you all very much. If you have any questions, um, you can grab my email address um, from the various docs that I'm going to put out. Um, and obviously you can ask Laurie, you can ask Lottie, you can ask, you can ask me. And very much look forward to seeing you on the 28th, 29th.